All right, uh, today we're gonna try to make some honey garlic chicken wings. We've got a recipe off the internet that we're gonna follow, so keep tuned in for that. We've got our oven on. We're gonna start with uh, just a uh, mix of flour, salt, and pepper in this bowl. Then we'll toss some wings into it, get them dusted up. And then you coat them with olive oil and put them on a rack pan like that. And then we'll bake them in the oven at a high heat. So let's get the wings ready to go first. And then we'll work on the sauce while they're cooking. Our chicken wings today is uh, six pounds, nine ounces, like six and a half pounds of wings that were grown right here on our farm. We uh, raised a bunch of chickens and the uh, last ones that we put to the freezer were uh, diced up into parts and then so we decided to put all the chicken wings in one bag so that we can uh, do a chicken wing day like this. I'm gonna grab a knife so I can open the bag. Next part of our process is we're going to lightly coat them in our flour and salt and pepper mix and then knock off the excess, give them a little brush of oil, and then we'll put them on our pan right over here. The instructions actually say that we should be chopping these off, uh, the wing tips I guess, off. I don't see the harm in doing it, but maybe that's how I mean, you live and learn and do it better the second time. Now these ones, I'm supposed to actually toss them in this stuff. Maybe I need a bigger bowl here. These ones, uh, I started out with a quarter cup of flour. And then just give it a dash of salt, dash of uh, uh, pepper. I'm going to grab a uh, cutting board here for the oiling part. I'm going to grab a tray. That way any oil that gets away from me won't go onto the counter or on the floor make any bigger mess. It actually looks like that might work. I've got a canola oil here. It says to brush it with the canola oil. Seems like that would be a little weird with the flour, but that's what the uh, instructions say. I don't know if I'm doing a good job at this or not. Until we... Seems like it shouldn't take that much oil. And then, let's try to put it over here and I think it's going to take many, many racks of these to get the job done. Let's try another one. And they literally is a tossing to the no, that's going to make a mess. Maybe what I need is a Ziploc bag with this uh, flour mix in it and then give a little shake in the bag. I might have to try that. I think we're making plenty of big enough of a mess over here with the oil, so I'm glad I got the tray for that. And the other thing that might happen organically 
to save me is it's possible that there won't be really that many wings that fit on that tray so the first round of baking we can uh, experiment without wrecking the whole thing so we're going to do a bunch more of that of those and we'll throw them in the oven next. All right so we've got a little progress here and we've actually learned a little something since we turned the camera off last time. So I got a bigger bowl for the flour. I put a lot more flour in it with uh, salt and pepper. That was the ingredients there. There's our bowl of chicken wings we're working on. So what I found is if I <clears throat> put three three wings at a time in the flour and then stir them around it actually turns out pretty good and uh, gives them a nice coating flip them around a little bit and get them in the flour instead of that other thing I was doing with that little bowl seems to be much better here Take the uh, wing and sort of shake it off. Get it over here on the tray. I'm using a combination of dipping from a bowl here that's got quite a bit more oil in it and using up some of the stuff that's already on the tray. And it seems to coat them much more nicely. That, I think, sounds a little more like what the recipe was telling me to do. So then I stack them as nice as I can over here on the tray so I can get as many on there as I can. And we'll start baking them after uh, I finish up as many of the rest I can get on there. Alright, best I can tell, I've got about 17 wings on that tray. I've got a few left in here, I don't know, six or eight maybe. And then we're still working on our uh, flour here, so we got that left over. We're going to stick all that stuff in the fridge while this pan cooks. I could do another pan, but I kind of almost really want to see how this turns out before I... wreck them all. I'll come over to our oven here. I'm on 375. I'm going to look again at the uh, temperature in the internet recipe just to see if uh, I need to crank that up a little bit to in the four, around 400. They say they want to cook a little more quickly right away. And then maybe towards the end lower the temperature and let them just actually bake a little longer. Another idea is, since these are up on the rack, they're not going to sit there and saute in their juices and become a bunch of limp uh, meat falling off the bone chicken wings. They're supposed to crisp up this way. I hope I don't have them touching each other too much, but let's close the oven. We'll give those some time and we'll check in on them every now and then to see how things are going. So these have been cooking about 20 minutes. That's when we're supposed to pull them out. And then flip them over and put them back in for about 15 more. Let's see what we got here.
sauce. Uh, I've got all the ingredients out for the sauce now. We'll make the sauce. While we spend the next 15 minutes cooking, maybe it'll go a little longer. We'll see. Back in the oven. And the other thing I didn't mention was I did crank the oven up to 425. That's what it says on the on the recipe on the internet. So we'll try that. Looks like it's doing fine so far. Now off to make the sauce. All right, we're gonna crank up the sauce here. Uh, the uh, couple things about the sauce, I'm going to double it because I just feel like I've got a lot of wings to cover here and uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough sauce. So I'm going to do that and then uh, recipe calls for one tablespoon of ginger. And I didn't have a ginger that I was really proud of. This is an organic crystallized. I don't know the difference between that and just uh, chopped ginger. This uh, worries me. And it's got a heavy taste to it, so I'm not going to put very much of it in. I'll just put in just a little bit. I don't think that I can wreck it by not putting it in, but I'm pretty sure I can wreck it by putting too much of that in. So we'll try that. So I'm going to put the honey in last. And then I'm going to put it in the KitchenAid mixing bowl and we'll throw it on the, on the mixer. Just so that the honey and soy sauce and everything kind of gets uh, whisked together over there. So we're going to start with four tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm doubling the recipe so it'll be eight. So hang with me here. Just a coating or a, a, or a sauce that goes on. It's not uh, that anybody has to eat all that. Four large cloves of garlic. We've got this kind of garlic. And what I was able to come up with off the internet is that this takes about half a tablespoon per clove. So I think I can sort of get that here. So to do what is recommended on the recipe for a four large, uh, I actually wanna go eight. So let's go with four uh, tablespoons. Will give me the equivalent. tablespoon of ginger again this not gonna do it I'm not gonna go a whole hog on the ginger hopefully that crystallized will get a chance to sort of mellow out in the sauce half teaspoon of chili flakes and I'm gonna do that twice double the recipe. One teaspoon of cornstarch, which is not going to be very much. And I need two, so it's going to be four of these basically. One, two, three, and four. That's cornstarch third cup of water, so two-thirds a cup of water. I'm going to go grab that. I meant to have that ready, so I wouldn't have to go get it. I don't have that. 
that. So let's grab it up here real quick. Water goes in the bowl. And after that, we got a cup of honey or half a cup on the recipe, doubling it to one cup. We have a new honey, so we have to pop the seal off of it. There's a lot of honey. And I'm not going to overdo it because that minor amount won't matter and I don't want to spill it over the edge. KitchenAid mixer. There we go. A little whisking action here. that go for two or three minutes. No harm in that mixing up really nice. That's like the right thing to do to me to make that sauce. And then we'll go check on those uh, wings here in about another five minutes. Alright, that's been spinning for a couple minutes. We're going to shut it down. so it doesn't drip right as soon as I move. All right, we're gonna bring the sauce over to the uh, stove. We've got a pan I just uh, put on there. It's getting warmed up. We're gonna start to reduce down the sauce a little bit, so we're gonna pour that in there. Start bringing it up to a boil. And then, uh, let it start to reduce down a little bit and the heat on this will bring out the the temperature of them uh, red peppers that'll be good and even maybe some of that garlic so that's what we're going to do we're going to reduce that down a little ways all right uh, we're going to pull these back out of the oven again they've been in there a little bit more They're looking really good. I guess the whole point of the rack is so that that oil down there can drip away and so sit there and melt against the chicken and turn them into a big pile of bones and meat. We're going to flip a couple of these and see if we want to put them back in a minute or if we're going to just start trying some sauce on them here. mind these actually cooking another about 10 minutes with the other side up because the top side is pretty nice and crispy the bottom side is a little a little soft so that's what we're gonna do Be on this side, so we're gonna 
put them back in. Probably call it 10 minutes and then come on back. Sauce is looking good. It's uh, sort of reducing down a little bit, getting a little thickening to it. So we'll keep that going. All right, back in the oven for everybody here. All right, so we've taken uh, some of these out of the oven finally. We stirred them in a dish with uh, the sauce. It's used down a little bit. Now we're gonna give them a try. And uh, see what we think of them. This is what they turned out to look like after they've been spun around in some sauce. We'll go give it a try.